Hello everyone, welcome back to 3TX. In this video I'm going to be creating a stylized uh, meat platter, I guess, a, a plate with meat. So I'm going to be making this in Maya uh, ZBrush and then Substance Painter. So I'm going to start out by creating the shapes here in Maya. And this is going to be essentially also my low poly model. And what I'm going to do is mostly use cubes and with sub D mode and then I'm going to subdivide them and use those as my low poly and do UVs as well. So when I use the sub D mode and then smooth the model, I still do remove a few uh, pieces of geo that are not really that are not really adding a lot to the shape. And then for this piece, I'm just going to make it so that it's like a sliced uh, piece of meat. And I'm going to place that on the side. I'm also going to um, change the shape so that it's a little bit more... Um, so that it's placed on top of the plate. And I'm going to make like a leaf. Just to make it a little bit more interesting. So the low poly model is relatively simple. And I'm going to group everything into one group and then I'm going to rename them. I'm using a special tool for renaming. Uh, there's going to be a link in the video description. Uh, you can also rename uh, manually as well. So I'm going to create UVs for this. And for the most part, I'm just going to keep the UVs relatively simple. And nothing's really going to be overlapping except for one of the uh, pieces of bone that come out of the main piece. Oh, well, actually, I'm not even going to overlap that one. I'm just going to keep it. So for this piece of meat, I'm just going to use a deformer. I'm just going to deform this so that it's uh, kind of on top of the plate here. So that it makes a little bit more sense. Now those pieces are going to be using the same UVs as the main one that I left on the side there. I just left it straight so that it's a lot easier to UV and also a lot easier to texture. And then these other pieces are just going to be using the same UV space and essentially the same texture as well. Now for the high poly I'm just going to duplicate the, the main group and then I'm just going to add a few bevels while previewing it previewing the model in a sub demo and export that into ZBrush. That's an FPX file. And then in ZBrush, I'm just going to start to add some of those details. I'm going to add like a pattern here on the main meat section. And I'm using the orb curve brush. Uh, you can find the orb brushes if you just do a Google search for uh, orb brush pack then you'll find it. You can either uh, add a payment of whatever you want or you can get them for free as well if you wanted to. But they are online and these are really useful brushes that I pretty much use a lot uh, when making stylized assets. So I'm just adding some of these lines here a little bit non-uniformly so that it's not doesn't look like a tiling pattern on top. But a little bit more unique. And here I'm just going to mask to create that bony uh, look where the meat kind of has been cut. In a way, it doesn't really make too much sense that there's uh, still a piece of bone sticking out of this uh, when, I, when it has been cut, uh, but I just thought it looked kind of cool. I guess in this case you would have cut, uh, you would have cut the uh, meat around the piece of bone, I guess. And I'm just going to add some scratches here. Then the bone itself, I'm just going to keep it relatively simple. You're going to use Dynamesh on it and then just use the Trim Dynamic and then just for planar changes on it. Uh, so I'm keeping it relatively clean. And then same thing for the plate. I'm just going to divide it and then 
add some details to the edge but it's going to stay for the most part clean and then for this piece of meat I'm going to do the exact same process that I did with the uh, with the larger one Then I'm going to mask the interior here so that it looks like there's meat, as the uh, interior of the meat that has been cut. Alright, and then I'm just going to export this as my high poly and import it, import it into Substance Painter. So in Substance, I imported my low poly and baked using the high poly model. And then I'm going to use the uh, 3DX stylized material. It's going to be a link in the video description as usual if you want to learn how to make it. But I'm going to be creating a few layers here and then start to color some of the sections accordingly. So I'm going to paint this a little bit red. Obviously, I'm manually painting them. Uh, one thing you can also do is you can create um, you can create ID maps in ZBrush if you wanted to to use as masks instead of having to paint things manually like I am here. But in this case, I didn't think it took that long to do, so I just uh, did it this way anyway. And I'm going to do the same thing with this piece that has been cut. It's a little bit sloppy here, so I would definitely recommend you guys spend more time if you are doing something like this. Uh, here I'm a little bit sloppy and not perfectly painting it. Um, but like I said, I do recommend spending way more time than I do with all my models that I make in these videos. You know, polishing is a really important part of making these models. Uh, it's not something that I do a lot in the videos, but I uh, highly, highly recommend that. And then I added a edge mask to it so that the um, so I wanted to make it look more like he um, like he has been cooked a little bit, uh, so it doesn't look like it's completely raw so I'm just gonna do that so adding an edge mask invert it and then just set the color a little bit darker and more red as well just to try to make it look more like it has been cooked a little bit and it's not fully um, you know raw meat so you wouldn't have uh, the meat ready on the plate if it wasn't cooked yet well I guess you could if you were about to cook it Alright, so that's pretty much it for this one. So here is uh, essentially what it's going to look like or what it looks like in Marmoset Toolback. Uh, once again, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And uh, if you have any suggestions for videos, I'm open to, this, to that as well. Anyway, I'll see you in a future video. Do you see this environment right here? I made this really quickly using Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter and Substance Designer and Unreal Engine. You too can make something like this really easily and in a short period of time. To make an environment like this one, all you have to do is make a few simple props, put them together in Unreal, and then simply add some lights and you're pretty much done. So hey, this is only a 45 second ad, so there's not enough time for me to cover everything. So click on the link below now and I will show you exactly how I made this environment. The best thing about learning how to make an environment like this one is that you can simply use the same techniques to pretty much make any other type of environment. Oh, and by the way, you don't need to be an expert already in order to learn how to make something like this. You can follow along without any prior knowledge. I will be showing you the basics on how to use Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, Substance Designer and Unreal Engine, so you can follow along without any issue. Like I said, this is a very short video so I don't have enough time to explain everything, 
So click on that link below and I will show you exactly how this is done. And by the way, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this for, so click on that link now so you don't miss out.